The world belongs to courageous people. You know, people who are courageous, it doesn't mean that they don't have fear. I've been often asked, do you have um, um, stage fright? Do you? Before? I said yes, all the time. <laughs> really? All the time. <laughs> But my, my take is not about the fear. Mm. It is about how courageous are you to believe in what God put inside yeah. you. So Natch, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, it's great to be with you and that you're in the UK. You're here with us today to share about a new book that you have released. Yes. In 2012, you wrote a song called I Know Who I Am. Yes. And now you've released a book with the same name. But I would love for you just to share the journey of how this book came into being. You know, um, the greatest um, uh, injustice to someone a human being is not knowing who they are. And you know, one of, uh, we have in the world something that we call the identity crisis. Mm. And so um, <clears throat> one of the things that really impacted me as a person in uh, being successful where I am and still helping me in my journey is um, knowing who I am, just looking at myself through the word of God. And God is our maker. So he has the, the blueprint mm. of how we can function. And then, um, I mean, how you can function the best way. And so when you want to say, um, how can I function best? Mm. Then you have to look at the manual, and which is the word of God that tells you who you are, that tells you who you are. And, um, as I travel around the world and uh, in our worship nights, in our tours, music tours especially. So I have people ask me a lot of questions and how do you do this? Why do you do this? And how is that and all that? And um, my answer is usually you have to find out mm. God's dream, God's vision for your life. Well, we have visions, our visions are good, but uh, the ultimate is knowing God's vision for our life. And that's why I titled the book, I Know Who I Am. Because when you know who you are, you can fun function properly. Oh, that's so yeah. good. And yes, you're so right. We really are seeing now more than ever, yeah. people struggling with their identity, yeah. not knowing who yeah. they are. Yeah. And having books like this is just so helpful for mm -hmm. people to just learn so much from. Mm -hmm. But, you know, when people read the book, what are you hoping they'll come out from the book Reading Knowing? What do you want them to really to really take away from reading this book? You know, one of the things that I found out also that uh, young people, young creatives, people who have a uh, gift and vision, they always find out what's next for me. Mm. What do I have to do? I mean, I don't have help anywhere. Yeah. So I want them, when they pick up the book, as they finish, they will realize that uh, God has a plan for them. Yes, amen. And then they realize that I can do it. Mm. I can be all that that God wants me to be. Yeah. And they are fired up, they're encouraged, they're inspired for their next level of success. Mm. So, Amen. And they see themselves the way that God sees God them. God sees them, yeah. yes. Because God does have a plan for each and every oh, yeah. one of us. Oh, yeah. And so many of us just don't know where to look or what to mm -hmm. do, but mm -hmm. um, actually really hearing from God and finding out what He wants for us mm -hmm. is just so important. That so is good. important. And in your book, you share lots of biblical principles yes. um, that have inspired you on your journey and mm -hmm. helped you in succeeding. But are there any Bible verses for you that have just really stood out that you've held on to over the years? Yeah. Very well. You know, um, I was just reading this morning. Let me, <coughs> I want to read it. Let me yeah. pull out my scriptures. Go for it. <laughs> uh, Matthew chapter 5, verse 13. I want you to read the message translation. Mm -hmm. I like this. Nice, so do I. It says, <laughs> let me tell you why you are here. You are here to be salt seasoning that brings out the God flavors of this earth. If you lose your saltiness, how will people test godliness wow. you know it's a you, you you've lost your youthfulness usefulness and we end up in a garbage that's when you uh, lost your mm. your flavor yeah you know the reason why you're here so it's important god has placed us here yeah. for a reason to be the light of mm. the world and for each and every one of us we have to shine amen in every area where not everybody is called to be a preacher 
Some people are called to the music industry, some to the arts, some as hairdressers, some even as administrators. Mm. And so wherever we are, we must become the salt of our environment. Yeah, so you know, good. and that drives me every day. It mm. inspires me that wherever I find myself, whatever I find myself doing, and I must be the salt, yeah. the one that brings taste to every environment that I come to. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Yes, be the salt. Yeah. I like that. And you've had some big wins, um, but I want to ask you, how does it feel to be the first African gospel artist to win Song of the Year at Broadcast Music? What was it like for you? I was like, um, it kind of like, it was not just a win for me. It was a win for my own part of mm. the world. And that means that what we're doing, we're doing something good. Yeah. And that um, anyone from my own part of the continent can be, can is good yeah. enough to win, is good enough to win. And so um, it was encouraging, it was humbling for me. Um, it, uh, it encouraged me to do even more. Mm. You know, and um, it was an encouragement to everyone from over there who's yeah. been working for years and making music, godly music, yeah. that blessing the whole world. Mm. And I am so glad that happened. Yes, definitely. And what do you hope for, um, for music in Africa? What do you hope to see in the next five years' time? There's been an explosion, explosion of music. Um, um, there's been an explosion of praise. You, you know, sometimes I see out of the pain, out of the struggle, praise mm. will rise. Praise is rising from the ashes. Yeah. Praise is rising. Uh, uh, praise is rising as a declaration of our fate mm. in God's word. And, you know, so the songs you see, we're trusting God, we're blessing God for his, our hope is in the name of the Lord. And uh, you find out there's an explosion of young people, older generation, we, the, the, the music is amazing. Yeah. The worship, the writings are amazing. So Africa, uh, there's something happening. Mm, and. Uh, it's amazing. Yes, yeah, so we're excited, yeah. aren't we? Yeah, see it. It is, it is. Now, I was wondering if you could give us a bit of a TBN UK exclusive by letting us know about any new music that we should be looking out for or any special collaborations that we should, you know, just make sure we're on the lookout for coming from you. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually writing. Anytime I pull back a little bit, that means I'm creating and writing. Mm. So I'm creating, I'm writing. And I'm writing with different people. So it wouldn't be fair to say everything. Oh. So where's the surprise? <laughs> okay. You know, it just means but, we'll have to wait. <laughs> yeah. But it's really good. It's really good. Nice. So I'm taking my time. I'm writing. They are writing. We're collaborating. And uh, it's going to be nice. Great. So be we should definitely look out for something. Oh, look at some, something. Okay. Yeah. Look you heard it here first, look out. <laughs> Share with us though what your songwriting process looks like. Like how do you, how, how long does it take to put a song together? Where does it start from for you? You know, there's no, uh, I've always told people there's no particular mm. way for, uh, because if you've written for a long time, I've been writing for a long time, so I've found that there's not really a particular way, one way. Mm. Uh, it comes from different ways, inspiration, Maybe I'm sitting in the waiting room. I could be inspired mm. to just write a, um, a line down. Yeah. Um, I remember I was watching something on TV and I was inspired to write a line down, mm. uh, you know, and then something happens. You're like, da, da, da. I'm writing this down. So it's, it's, uh, it's something. And it, it all just adds yeah, up. Yeah, it just adds up in the place of prayer, yeah. as you worship, mm. as you also listen to the word. And maybe the, the Lord will point you to a part in the Bible and he says, I want you to sing this. I want you to write this down for my people. I want them to hear these words of encouragement. Mm. Like the song I just sang, uh, Final Word. You know, uh, many people are listening to many voices. But God wants them to know that the voice of a stranger, you will not hear, but mm. my voice you will follow. You will hear my voice yeah. when I call you. My word is the final word in every situation. And that you should focus on my word. It's not about the news. It's not about fear. It's not about the voice of anxiety or depression. 
you must listen to my voice. It should be the loudest voice in your ear. Mm, yeah, that's so good. Yeah. You know, there might be people watching who have a song in them and who might do that thing of just write down a, a lyric or a line and, and are afraid to share it or are afraid of really stepping out and, you know, worshipping in front of others and sharing the gift that they have. So what would you say to them just to encourage them on their journey as they start? Uh, one of the things I wrote in my book, I, I was saying that the world belongs to courageous people. You know, people who are courageous, does, it doesn't mean that they don't have fear. I've been often asked, do you have um, um, stage fright? Do you? Before? Do you? I said, yes, all the time. <laughs> really? All the time. <laughs> but my, my take is not about the fear. Mm. It is about how courageous are you to believe in what God put inside yeah, of you. Yeah, that's so good. Yeah. Turning that yeah, fear yeah. into courage. Yeah. Yeah, that's yes. so good. And so you, you're, you're, there, there are always two sides. Mm. The devil is talking fear. God is talking faith. And he's showing you a future. So you, you is just like Peter walking on water yeah. amidst all the uh, storms. Mm. He was going to Jesus and Jesus said, come. And he was facing Jesus and he was coming. And then he looked away yeah. from Jesus. Immediately he looked away. He started to sink. And so our journey of life is like that. Anytime we look away from his word, we start to listen to other voices and then we begin to go down. Mm. And so I always encourage people, why don't you listen to what God is telling you? He says, if he gave you the songs, that means you were good enough. Yeah. But if you never try, you'll never know. Yeah. So you know? good, yeah. yeah. So you've accomplished so much with your music and now you have this book, which we're really excited for oh, so many people to God. have it in their hands. What other big dreams do you have though? Is there anything else that you'd love to do or you know, people you'd want to collaborate with in future? Yeah, so many people I want to collaborate with. <laughs> Just everyone. And <laughs> you know, as long as we have breath in us, there's always more territories mm. to take. And uh, the Lord is always saying that the harvest is plenty and the laborers are few. And uh, uh, we are answers to prayer, yeah. to the prayer of the Lord. Lord, send more laborers into them. And there are many territories that needs to be taken. I would like to uh, even tour more to share the gospel through my music. I like to, um, yeah, I have this mentoring uh, platform that I have. You know, have more, talk to yeah. people, your young people. Mm. You know, sometimes I see they are lost because like I said, many voices, yeah. different yeah. places. The internet is talking, the television, the news is talking. Yeah. Sometimes the schools, mm. they're talking. And then, so we have to be strong with our message, be bold with the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ to tell them that it is okay to live a bold and yes. courage of an exciting life for our Lord. Oh, I love that. And That's yeah. so good. Yeah. So yeah. we've learned to be the salt, to turn that fear mm -hmm. into courage, yeah. to whatever you know sentence or line comes into your head, write it down That's right. and to be bold. That's yeah. so good. Thank you so much for joining me today and sharing with us. It's, it's just been such pleasure. a blessing. It's my pleasure. Thank, Thank you for having me.